Matthew 5 and verse 25. I'll greet with thine adversary quickly. Now, instead of this old grimy, peasy headed, hot Cheeto eating ass, um, uh, five dollar Popeye box eating ass nigga, um, agreeing with his adversary quickly by doing what? You know what them people want. Go out on and pull out your ID. Go out on and pull out your driver's license. Go out on and have your uh, registration and your car insurance out. Have that shit on deck because that's what they won't see. Go on and get your fucking ticket and go on about your day, bro. No, uh-uh. You wants to be a smart dumb nigga with your infinite wisdom, right? Okay. Um, you decide you wants to... Uh, be in the mind frame of I shall challenge you with the Black Star Dictionary I shall challenge you with the Constitution Man, we ain't saying that you wasn't Wasn't right, you are traveling When you got pulled over But here's the thing um, The Constitution wasn't written for you, dummy What part of that you don't get And all that's gonna do When you try to challenge this man On that level, you're gonna enrage him You're gonna piss him off And he's gonna fuck you up Okay, he gonna put a bullet off in your car. He gonna put a bullet off in your chest. He gonna drag you about that car, hit you upside your head with a nice stick, might shock your ass. Okay, and put a knee off in your back, and he put, gonna put them cuffs tight as fuck on your ass. Well, you ain't gonna be able to feel your hands weeks and weeks and weeks after you even get out of jail. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. You gonna get fucked up behind playing games with Esau. This is not your rulership. Esau is in power Your adversary is in power And the scripture says To agree with your adversary quickly Go on and get this man what he want man Whilst thou art in the way with him Lest at any time the adversary Deliver thee to the judge And the judge deliver thee to the officer And thou be cast into prison Point blank period You're going to get fucked up When you don't agree with your adversary quickly You got to know how to play this man games man This is the book of Jeremiah 11 and verse 11 Therefore thus said the Lord Behold, I will bring play, I will bring evil upon them. Okay? It says this, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me. You're gonna cry for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You're gonna cry out for the Lord. Yeah. But check this out. I will not hearken unto them. When you plan games with Esau, okay, and thinking that you're gonna turn around. And call out for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, a crowd to the Lord. The Lord's not going to listen to you. Because he didn't tell you to challenge this man with the Black's Law Dictionary. He didn't tell your ass to challenge him with the Constitution. It wasn't written for you. Okay? You a slave here. This is the kingdom of Satan. This is not the kingdom of heaven. Your way not going to work here. Meaning, you're not going to go about using his laws... To try to uh, free yourself is not going to work, bro. You're going to get fucked up, okay? We deal with the scriptures. We deal with the Bible. And this is what you got to live by, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing with you niggas. You think that uh, you can go about things your own way. You don't want order, okay? Because the order is to follow the guidance and the rulership of the men of Great Millstone, point blank, period. And because you don't want that order, you won't do things your own way. You won't climb up some other way. Guess what? You're going to end up fucked up. Okay? You're going to end up crippled or dead. Point blank, period. Okay? This is the book of uh, John 10 and verse 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbing up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So if you ain't listening to the men of Great Millstone, point blank, period, and, and following the leadership, the guidance and rulership of these men and living the scriptures to the best of your ability, okay, and following, following these scriptures, you like a thief and a robber. You are literally like a thief and a robber, and the Lord is going to allow Esau to treat you like a thief and a robber by fucking you up, by putting a foot off in your ass, bitch. That's good for you. That's what I got to say. That's good for you. That was funny. That shit was funny to me seeing you get fucked up, nigga. You niggas are clowns. You dig? Now put that in your fucking grape cigarillo and smoke that. You dig? So with that, I say, man, look. Don't follow behind these niggas, okay? Follow behind the rulership, the guidance, and leadership of the men of Great Millstone, and you'll be fine. 
The Lord is going to take care of you. He'll have the angels to encamp round about you to take care of you, man. But you follow these niggas, you're going to end up fucked up. Point blank period. We almost out of here. With that, I say shalom.